Hi everyone, welcome to this video explaining a bit about the primary fiver day. So here we've got the Corporate Mavs primary website, so www.corporatemavsprimary.com and there's two links to get to the fiver day. There's one on the tabs here at the top, fiver day, or there's the green logo here, fiver day here. And if you click either one of those, so I'll just click this one, you'll get to the fiver day page. So the five a day, well, five a days are five questions for every single day of the year from January the 1st all the way to, if we go all the way down to December the 31st, including I've got Christmas Day. You can give them, you know, five a days if you want on Christmas Day. I'd probably give them a break, the students a break, to be honest, but it's up to you. And we've got February the 29th as well. So there's every single day of the year there. And there's four different levels of difficulty. There's bronze, silver, gold and platinum. Now, in terms of the going through the year from January the 1st down to December the 31st, the level of difficulty for each version should be consistent. So the bronze is all the way down, the silver all the way down, the gold's all the way down, and the platinum's all the way down. The levels of difficulty for each of those versions should be consistent, and each one gets progressively harder. So the bronze is the easiest version, the silver is slightly harder, the gold is slightly harder, and the platinum is pretty tough. It's really aimed at really extending the most able students in year six or P7, you know, obviously you might have students that are gifted that might be able to do them in uh, year five or P6, um, but you know, the sort of the platinum are really aimed at those um, sort of really just making sure that there's everyone's catered for. Um, when designing them, I sort of had in mind the reading books with the different color coding in terms of different uh, reading ages. And and when designing the primary five day, I was really trying to make sure that I had um, a worksheet or a five a day for everybody in a class. So for instance, if you had a, a year six class, you might have, um, you know, you might have one or two people or students that might find maths really, really difficult and might find it really tricky. So there might, you know, maybe might be one or two working on bronze for particular reasons. Uh, then you might have some working on silver. The majority of the class I would have thought, but obviously each class is different depending on schools or even from year group to year group. And, um, you know, most of them in a year six class I anticipated would be working on gold and a few of the most able will be working on platinum. For a year five class, or if you're Northern Ireland, a P6 class, um, I would expect the majority of the class maybe to work be working on silver, some working on gold, and some of the ones that I found that was a bit more tricky working on bronze. And a year four class, <laughs> uh, a P5 uh, class in Northern Ireland, you might have the students work working on a sil uh, bronze with a couple maybe working on silver. The idea is that sort of you know your students in the class better than anyone else really, so you can sort of decide which levels of difficulty. The bronze is sort of the top end of key stage one, very, very bottom of key stage two. The silver would be the easier material on key stage two, so maybe the sort of the year four or five uh, descriptors. The year the gold would be sort of the, the harder stuff on key stage two, so maybe the year top end of or top bit of year five, year six descriptors, and the platinum would be those sort of really, really tough questions that you get maybe at the end of a key stage two paper or even just slightly beyond the key stage two curriculum in some sort of situations, but I'm just really aiming to push on the most able there with the platinum. So you've got the four levels of difficulty. Let's show you each five a day. So the five a days for all of them will have this sort of a similar layout. Um, so you've got the color sort of up here the bronze you've got the date they can put their name on it and so on you've got the top two arithmetic questions all of the five a days have two arithmetic questions at the top and then there's three reasoning questions below so on this bronze one we've got putting some numbers in order or cars in order We've got a question about people getting off and on of trains, and we've got a question where we've got to figure out what number this is pointing to. And because it's bronze, it's quite straightforward. It's just maybe the three times tables, three, six, nine, 12, uh, 15, 18. So then that would be six. Um, so, you know, the bronze is hopefully quite straightforward. The silver, are sort of getting a bit harder. So now you've got sort of adding sort of numbers in hundreds and thousands, adding some fractions with the same denominators. We've got some rounding. Now I've said that there's gonna be three reasoning questions. Some Sometimes you'll see that there's maybe um, a question and then maybe maybe where there's a bigger sort of image I've sort of done one question but with two questions on it but um, you sort of get the idea there's gonna be some reasoning questions then below okay and um, then we've got our gold gold's getting a wee bit harder now so you've got um, adding decimals with numbers where they sort of haven't got the same length or the same number of decimal places adding fractions with different denominators but 
sort of quite straightforward ones to do there. And then you've got the reasoning questions here. Um, finding missing angles in a triangle, a problem solving one with square numbers and multiples, and circling which one's bigger out of the mixed fractions and the decimal numbers. So that's sort of an idea of a gold one. And then platinum, when I go into sort of sort of to the sort of top end of the key stage two curriculum, the very top end of it, even just beyond, where you've maybe got some, you know, Bob Mass there, multiplying fractions, but then you've got stuff like Roman numerals beyond two thousand, some problem solving stuff, stuff that might appear at the very end of a key stage two paper. Um but yeah, so they're the four different levels of difficulty. Um so you've got the questions, also then we've got the answers. If we scroll down you'll see in purple here answers and as you go down through the page you'll regularly see those answers appearing. Um, so if you want the answers for January you'll just click here and it'll give you all the answers for January. And if I just click on one of them, just say here, we'll see there's the answers for the silver uh, five a day with the working out and the answer. Um, obviously for the rounding one there's not much working out to show so just the answer and so on okay so there's the answers there that Deaver you can use whenever you're marking the five a days or the students can use themselves to mark their own or that even the parents can use to help out their children with their their five a day okay so that's the five a day as i said they go the whole way through the year um in terms of uses of the five a day there's so many different uses which i have um heard from other colleagues or used myself in terms of the five a day in terms of whenever i created the five a day i initially created the five a day because in the school that i was in we used to have to hot room so because i'm a secondary school teacher i used to have to move from room to room and i used to have to log onto the computer get open sims the register thing you know take the register and the five a days were really useful as a settling activity so as the students came in there was a five a day on their desk i had picked the right level of difficulty for them or i have said you know they're at the front choose the level which you think is most suitable and that's actually quite interesting in terms of the students self-evaluating and choosing what level of difficulty they should be working at and then you can even discuss that with them um but there's the five days at the front. The students then were getting on with the five days. It just sort of takes five, ten minutes for them to work on while I was taking the register. And I just done it every single day with every single class. And I found it a fantastic way just to, because as you go through, you know, you've got the, the bronze version here on the 1st of January, ordering numbers and so on, adding. If we go then to the 2nd of January, the topics will be different. So you've got multiplying, subtraction, tally charts, fractions of shapes. Um, if you go down to the 3rd of January, We've got then um, division, multiplying, sort of more than, less than, you know, we've got some 3D shapes here. You know, the idea is that sort of the students will be regularly coming back to topics. So rather than sort of covering a topic in class and then the students potentially just forgetting it, the greater thing about the five a day is that the students will be regularly practicing the broad spectrum of the Key Stage 2 curriculum. You know, so they're, they're going to be regularly coming back to it. And if you, you know, so regularly come back to something, there's more chance that that knowledge is going to be retained. And what's great is if the students sort of forget something, then sort of you can help them with that sort of individual topic. Or sometimes what I find is if I've given my class, you know, perhaps if I had a, a year six class and I give them this particular gold sheet and there's a particular question which they all struggled on, perhaps they were struggling on this one with metric units, with liters and milliliters, I might then sort of do a lesson planned on that. So the five a days, I would often have used them as starters or settling tasks in class. Um, other schools often use them as displays. If I sort of show you now, I've gone to the Corporate Mavs website and show you on there. Um, some schools sort of use them as five a, day, uh, five a day displays. So here's some examples um, where they've actually put up the five a days in their classrooms and sort of got sort of well this is the GCSE one with foundation higher and numeracy um, you know you've got the folders and the students can come up and either select them from there or you know you've got sort of today's yesterday's you know schools sort of vary in how they do that you can sort of look through this page and decide you know if a display would be useful for your one of your class um, so you know some schools use them as displays in terms of displays you know the students can use them perhaps as extension work if they've finished the task they can come up and get their five a day um, some schools even do competitions where if you sort of do the five a day you get in like a tutor point or a house point or um, you know an entry for a draw um, so that sort of is another use of the five a days um, also, they can be very useful for just revision at home. You can just let the parents know, oh, the five-a-days are on the website, you know, on Corbin Mavs. Um, 
you know, you feel free to use them, sort of dip in and dip out with your child, and there's a bit of mouse set every day that they can use. So as I've said, here's the display board um, with just sort of a plastic wallet where the students can come and lift their five a day if they want to. Um, sort of quite often some schools can get the, the students to do, use them in groups. Um, also, um, you know, sort of I share them on Twitter, on the at Corbett Mavs, you know, so maybe just something that your school Twitter, you know, you might want to share with the parents. Um, you know, so there's loads of different ways to use the five a days. Um, really, you know, I use them a lot in my own class for starter settling tasks, even for revision. As we get close to GCSE exams or key stage two exams, I might select a group off of them and use them as sort of just revision questions that are suitable for the students and those different levels of difficulty. Um, but yeah, so there's the five a days. I hope you find them useful. Um, if you get any questions um, on the five a days or want to know sort of a bit more about them, if you go to the Corporate Maths website, on the right hand side, you'll see a thing called contact us and you can contact me via that. So that's it. Um, so there's the five days. There's questions and answers. And um, yeah.